Have you ever tried to create something visually appealing in your game, only to find that the elements just don't align the way you want? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're tackling how to keep two lines anchored at a point while maintaining a perfect 30 degree angle between them. I completely understand how challenging it can be to get the angles just right in your game design. Many developers face this issue, especially when trying to create dynamic visuals that respond to user interactions. You're definitely not alone in this. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, how can I make sure the lines are always 30 degrees apart and maintain that angle even when rotated? They provided some code and images, but the lines just seem too close together. Sound familiar? Let's dig into this together and find a solution. So what could be causing this issue? The problem often lies in how the angles are calculated and how the lines are anchored. We'll break it down step by step so you can understand how to achieve that perfect 30 degree separation. And don't go anywhere. I've got a crucial tip at the end that will help you maintain those angles effortlessly in your game. To ensure the lines maintain a 30 degree angle, the user should first calculate the rotation angles for both lines based on their current rotation. This will allow the lines to always stay 30 degrees apart. Next, the user should update the rotation of both arms in the game loop. This means adjusting their angles every frame based on the anchor's rotation. Additionally, the user should ensure that the arms are always anchored at the same point. This can be done by setting their positions relative to the anchor sprite. Finally, the user should test the implementation to confirm that the lines rotate correctly and maintain the 30 degree separation as intended. Did you know? The concept of angles in game design can be traced back to ancient civilizations who used geometry to create stunning architectural wonders. Geometry isn't just for math class, it's a key player in game development too. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution to maintain a 30 degree angle between your two lines is to use an SK Physics joint fixed. This joint pins the two physics bodies together in a fixed position. Simply add this code where you have your other joints. This method ensures that the lines remain exactly 30 degrees apart, even when they rotate. Here's the result of implementing this solution. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative approach suggested by another user is to make the line nodes children of the anchor sprite. This way, when you rotate the anchor sprite, the lines will rotate with it automatically. Just remember to set the anchor points of the lines at their extremities instead of the center for proper alignment. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always double check your anchor points and joint settings. This simple habit can save you hours of frustration and keep your visuals looking sharp. And there you have it. With these adjustments, your lines should now maintain that perfect 30 degree angle, no matter how they rotate. Remember, attention to detail is key in game design. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips, and don't miss our next video where we dive deeper into game physics.